Oh, is this microphone working? What? Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, okay. One, two, three. No, 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 shut up. Okay. One, two, three, four. Lemon Amiga presents. A play giant video review. Sit back and enjoy the show. to another Lemon Amiga Play Guide and Review. This time we'll be checking out Helter Skelter, developed and published by Audiogenic, and this originally came out in October 1988. It's been an 80s game, it opens with a very simple title screen. You can see ASL, that was Audiogenic, and Audiogenic was mostly an 8-bit computer system. So let's press that left mouse button and let's check this game out. Helter Skelter works a little bit like Bomb Jack, where you have to get certain targets and you have to get them in order. And if you get the order right, then you can destroy it, but if you get the order wrong, it will multiply into two objects. And the objects are mostly animals in this game, like snakes and parrots, and other objects from aliens. And you can see at this early stage, what we have to do is to simply roll into them and they should disappear. We have a time limit of a number of seconds at the beginning of each stage and that counts down very rapidly and I think that counts down even more rapidly if you make a mistake and if you bump an enemy where the arrow is not pointing above their heads and so you have to get on with it and if you press the left mouse button that will instigate the control system and if you hold down that mouse button that should level the ball on the floor. That always doesn't happen in that correct way but you can see by pressing the mouse button that will instigate a jump and that should turn us in the opposite direction to where we are actually going. So if we are falling, that will increase the fall, and if we are jumping, that might increase the jump. At this early stage, the levels are addictive but surprisingly difficult, and the mouse control means that we can maneuver our rubber ball pretty handily, and the clicking on option. Well, that means that we can click on the mouse button to make it do something which isn't automatically second nature and you can see I'm struggling to try to get it what I want it to do and if we're out of time again that means it's game over It's been an early game and a mouse game, it's quite addictive and it even gives us the extra letters like Bubble Bobble and it even speeches those with voice speech sound effects with X and R and A and that kind of thing. 
So we do get voice speech sample sound effects in this game. <laughs> Along the way we'll find helpful tokens, but those helpful tokens, well, we're still struggling with the analog control, and I can't imagine if this would be any easier with a joystick, but you can see I'm struggling at the moment. Some of these levels can be ticked off in seconds, and so can this one if you have the dexterity and the control, and having mastered this, the game actually gives us a break for a few screens, so we can get a bit further. And the worst enemy is the time limit, and it's that time limit which really murders these levels. <laughs> The other thing which really murders our chances on these levels is our own frustration and as I say if you hold down the mouse button it should stop and then we can start bouncing again but on this particular level it's pretty difficult to come back unless you have that perfect bounce to get in between all these platforms. So in this case I'm simply bouncing around wildly and getting pretty infuriated and this particular level can be done pretty easily if you simply take your time and master the jumps. <laughs> The animation on offer is pretty basic, but then we are looking at a 1980s game, and with the colour scheme it reminds me a lot of the very early arcade games, and the arcade games where you had to catch lots of stuff, and in this one in particular it has that kind of playability, and you have to really play this game and get far to get hooked on it, and having got far, it's one of those games where I remember playing this back in the day with fond memories, and it's the combination of great playability and also those sound effects. <laughs> And I'm really rushing for that time, but it's disappeared, and we don't have enough time in this case to clear those easy enemies. So this level introducing us to a new aspect, falling off the screen, and just like all the other games that we've seen, like Snow Bros, it is possible to loop around the screen and have some fun. <laughs> I definitely had one of these power balls back in the day and it was indestructible and you could throw it off anything and bounce it off anything and it would survive and it surprises me that they don't make spaceships out of a power ball and that it could go through space without colliding with anything and rubber is in quite short supply these days I'm sure they've synthesised rubber already you can see these backgrounds are pretty 1980s and we're going to have another, the last and the third try in this game
The collectibles on offer do offer some variety, but they don't offer so many collectibles that you find yourself with an easy level. All of these levels are challenging and you will have to challenge yourself pretty readily to get through them and they can be done the easy way or the hard way and if you get frustrated then it's usually the hard way. So these things can be split down and split down and so if you get it wrong just like this then unfortunately it can be a nightmare but getting back from these situations and rescuing these mad attempts can also be very rewarding and so the playability in this case holds up i just wish some of the levels were a little bit easier <laughs> It seems I'm having absolutely no luck whatsoever. And this game, well, it's probably on public domain collections by now, but it was released originally for $14.99, so it was kind of a mid-price game. And back in the 80s, it was released on the Atari ST and the Amiga. I'm not quite sure whether the Commodore 64 port was finished. Part of the madness of the game is the constant boing 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 all over the place and it's those boing mechanics which drive you insane but then it throws you a very easy level to get you really racing and this is perhaps the favourite of favourite of my levels in the game. <laughs> Back to those difficult areas, and I'm not quite sure what the lightning does. Any one of those could have been killed, unfortunately, my skills aren't with me on this level. And I'm not sure how many levels there are, and I'm not sure how far I've got with it. But it does continue for quite some time. So let's move on to those scores. And Dato Magazine gave it 50%. And maybe they complained about the things I've complained about so far. It's a pretty open game because anything can happen and it's completely random but it's not very playable if you want a controllable game and if you want a controllable game this certainly is not it. Amiga Power awarded Helter Skelter 60%, Commodore user gave it 60%, Amiga user International gave it 70%, and the current lemon score for this game is 71%. Your Amiga gave it 75, Amiga Action gave this 78%, Zap64 gave the Amiga version 86%, the Games Machine gave it 87%, and Amiga Format awarded this game 
87 percent. That means that the average score is around about 7.5 out of 10. As an early Amiga game, I think this deserves to be a classic, and there weren't really many Amiga games out in 1986 or 1987, so it was really 88 when the first really great games started to appear, and this one has been very lightly coded, and it has all the elements in there, but it's still that playability that drags me back to this game every time. I definitely give this game high marks and Health Skelter is memorable for me from back in the day and maybe you played this game too. So thank you for watching another play guide and review and I hope to see you again in another one sometime soon. Right, this has got to be hard. I presume it sucks you in. Whoa, my God! <laughs> That's impossible. Full power under it, over it. Oh, uh, almost. You can't go through the middle. Oh, oh nearly. <laughs>